Sorry, mate. Can I help you? Uh, no, I was just, I wondered what time are you leaving, mate? I just, you know, I've, I've, uh, I've been smashing up down the other end. I just thought I need a break, mate, so. <laughs> it's a tiny little kitten. Yeah. About this big. It's an 80 pound cat, it's 40 pound carb, and I've got a three ounce of catfish, so. Good morning, welcome to another video. I'm currently on Big Haze. Callum, the Camo King, is fishing opposite me. Chunkster is on his way down. We are gonna buddy up so that we're all fishing next to each other on that far side. But yeah, I've been here for about 24 hours. You will see that footage um, near Christmas and there's a reason behind that and I will explain. I'm currently in this swim. Um, not my favorite kind of swim, but last night and yesterday, I'm not joking, pretty much the whole of the fish in the lake were coming out um, off the edge of this island, hence why me and Callum are fishing opposite sides, um, because we're just trying to trap the fish, basically. It is about eight o'clock in the morning. Um, I'm here till 1pm tomorrow, and like I say, at 1pm today, I'm going to join Callum and Tom over that side. So, a few more hours left in this swim, which I'll keep you up to date with, and then we'll head on over and uh, fish next to the boys for a bit of a social. Happy days. Here we go, look. Chunks has turned up on the other side. You can tell it's him just by the trousers. This should be a good session. I think Callum's going to stay in that swim that he's in now. And then Tom and I both want that swim. The guy's coming out of there at one. So I think Tom and I are going to have to try and fight it out for that swim. <laughs> Obviously, the other one's going to go in this swim next to the island. There's, currently, there's people in that one and obviously someone in that one. So they're both off at one. Callum's staying in the middle. Wow. The Camo King is in. Just saw a massive splash, looked over and he's picked up his rod. Happy days, well done boy. Make sure you get it in, son. Well, I'm hearing Tom shouting over there. It sounds like it's a tiny little catfish. <laughs> oh, it's a catfish. It's a very small catfish. It's funny actually, only last night Callum was telling me about how much he hates catfish, so I'm glad he's had one. <laughs> Get in. <laughs> oh, he's over there going, oh, it's about three ounces, about three ounces. He's not happy with it, but I would be happy with it. It's a fish, isn't it? Do you know what I mean? Just have a bit of action, bit of a bend in the rod, as they say. Well done, cow. Well, Tom and I have just done a draw and I came out on top. Come on, I got the peg that I wanted and there's a lot of fizzing, a lot of fizzing coming out there. So I'm just gonna treat this as a whole new session. Like I've just turned up, like I'm just starting and we're gonna go from there. So you've got Callum in the middle, me to the left, Tom to the right. Um, to be honest with you, even though I've won the draw, I still want us all to catch. Here he is, the man, the myth, the legend. How are you, mate? All good, all good, mate. All well, uh, what do you make of the draw? <laughs> you don't want to talk no, about it. Talk about it. Do you know what? Every draw I have, I lose. Wow. Everything. Every like through all my history, any draw I've done, I come out worse. Well, I was gonna ask you if you went to a press up competition. Oh, you probably beat me at that. I'm so fat. I'm like, so heavy. Know, I, you I probably did, would beat me. I wondered. I wondered how you over press ups. No, nah, not too bad. Not yes. too bad. I, I'll give you a run for the money, but I don't think I'd win that one. Arm wrestle. We'll do that. Wow, well, nah, that's all right. I'll stick <laughs> with this swim over here, mate. <laughs> but yeah, so Tom's in this swim here. Callum's in the middle. There he is, the boy. Callum, you had a fish, apparently. Sure. I didn't see it. What happened? Monster, mate. Absolute slug, was it? Killing me. Huh? The arms are killing me from dragging it in. Oh, All right. Him. <laughs> Ask him about his leg. Ask him about his leg. What about your leg? Just, just, leg. Just, just skip to me. No. Just skip. I need to, Tom. Just skip. Come on. It's a perfectly good distance for me. <laughs> <laughs> it's a tiny little kitten. Yeah. About this big. It's an 80-pound cat. It's 40-pound carp. 
and I've got a three ounce catfish, so. It's more than me, mate. Well worth 30 pounds. <laughs> dilly dilly. <laughs> dilly, dilly. <laughs> well, I've timed that to perfection. I've got into the swim. I haven't got my rods out yet. Uh, Spencer, who's let me have this swim kindly, he's still got his rods out. He's fishing, he's got another hour or so, so. But we've got everything set up, I'm ready to go. So when Spencer moves off, I can just get my rods straight out. But yeah, Tom's here now, you've seen Tom. Callum's fishing with all his free rods. So I think Tom's just getting his out. And then we're ready for our 24 hour on here. So should be good. And I think the rain is meant to stop. It's meant to be a bit hit and miss with the weather, um, which isn't too bad. Nobody's jumped in the swim I was in that I've moved from, but I'm feeling quite confident. I, I do feel like I could do a bite in this swim and I really need to do a bite in this swim. I'm, I, I won the toss, uh, sorry, I won the draw. And uh, yeah, I need to really make something happen. The amount of fish that were showing here yesterday was was unbelievable. Not seen many signs of that today, but the wind is trickling nice. Three of us along this bank, we've got to have something between us, surely. Right, well, if anyone's seen my video on Burner's Hall, um, I actually tried my first ever pot noodle and I've actually been addicted to this sticky rib flavor. <laughs> so I've got myself a load of these for this session, but I haven't had one yet and I'm absolutely starving. I've not eaten since last night, so I'm definitely ready for it. And also, I'm gonna wash it down. I've not tried this before. With one of these, I know it's talked about quite a lot, but uh, it's called Meta Moon Prime. So, there you go. Spot a quick lunch, happy days. Oh, somebody asked about my kettle as well. This kettle is so good because like, you could, it's silicon, so you can just fold it right down. It doesn't melt. It's got a metal bottom. Um, and it's very quick at boiling, boiling the kettle. So yeah, just off eBay, very cheap. Just type in silicon kettle and there you go. And just like that, we have one boiled kettle, one quick, easy, tasty snack. Super quick, super easy and super tasty. And the rain stopped. Right, it's time to get started. Callum's got all his free rods in. Tom's got all his free rods in. It's finally time. It's just coming up to one o'clock. Spence has moved off, it's time to get started on this 24 session. <sighs> Fingers crossed. Come on. Got my fat ass on video. Probably. My fat ass on video. <laughs> I expect that from Tom, but not from you. What a knob. Right, so that is it. All three rods are out now. Um, finally, I'm happy that I'm fishing. On the left-hand one, I've got a four-foot zig, and that's only probably about, I didn't wrap it up, but it's probably four or five wraps. Was that you? Ah, oh, they're loud. Um, my middle rod is out right to the far bank on the reeds, which I'll show you in a minute. And uh, that is on a OG Fish Harden hooker with a yellow topper. And then the right-hand rod is on a solid bag, and that is pub chucked out towards the middle where the fish were bubbling and showing uh, last night on, and yesterday and even there was a bit of bubbling this morning so be nice if that one goes be nice if any of them go but there we are that's all three rods out see if we can have a fish right so here we are i don't know some of you guys will recognize this swim we've got the platform out in front of me but i'm going to take talk you through where i'm fishing so four foot zig is on the left hand rod and that is out towards that oak tree but the thing is there's somebody in that swim and I went round and spoke to him and he's basically just going to have, he's going to have, I'm not going to fish the left hand margin. He's going to have the whole of that reed line and up to here. So with that said, my zig goes out towards that, towards his swim, but it's only six wraps out. So it's not, not interfering with him at all. He's got plenty of water to play with. The middle one is on the hardened hooker with a yellow topper and that is out. There's a gap and it's quite dark, unfortunately, guys, because of the camera. 
and the lighting. But where that tree is, there's like a gap between two reed lines here. There's a reed line here, there's a reed line here, and I'm fishing just in that gap there. And then the right one is on a solid bag and it's pub chucked, to be fair. Um, I just wanted to send out one just as a solid bag. I didn't want a heavily bait. I've got a heavily baited spot there. So I just wanted to chuck out one. Maybe a fish might come across it and slip up. But that is, again, I didn't wrap up, but it's about seven or eight wraps out towards that big tree in the background. Um, just out in the middle there. That's where they were showing yesterday. So I am going to do a bivy review video as well. So if you guys want to see that, let me know. Um, I know some of you are interested in the Fox Frontier. I've had a couple of messages about it. What size bivy should you get? Should you get the standard? Should you get the X? Should you get the, uh, the XD? I've got the standard and I can give you my opinion on it. Um, if you want to see that. Tom's over there oh, with the camo king. Oh, he's filming me and I'm filming him. And uh, yeah, should be a good session. And if we don't catch any fish, which to be honest is a bit of a run that I'm going on at the moment, then at least we can have a good social. I don't get to fish with these guys much at all, to be honest. So it'd be really nice to uh, just spend a bit of time with them. So happy days. <laughs> I've just realized one thing about my setup. What's missing? <gasps> Billy, where's Billy? Do you know what? I can't actually find Billy. I've moved swim so many times in this session. Where's Billy? I've just gone back to my old swim, the swim I was in last night, to see if Billy was in that swim. And he's not, so <laughs> where's Billy? Maybe I've just misplaced, well, obviously I've misplaced him, but I don't know, he must be in my car or in one of my bags. I've moved so many times, I don't know where I've been putting everything. Billy's gone missing. Maybe he's fed up with me blanking all the time. He's like, I'm off, see you in a bit. Billy has gone AWOL. Oh, I just had a liner. And then Callum had a liner. It's about 4 p.m. and Callum reckons that's the time when it's going to start kicking off. So interesting. But again, the wind is still hacking down. Not much signs of fish. I think there is more sign of a kebab and a pizza on the way than a fish. Well, the maddest thing's just happened. And in the last hour, there's been two fish that have shown over my solid bag. Right over my solid bag. Um, the first one... The fish came up, big fish, probably 20, 20 plus. Um, it came up and it like, it almost happened in slow motion. It hovered, it, it come out of the water and it sort of like, I don't know, it was weird. It hovered in the air and then went back down. And that one, I didn't see the fish, but it sounded like a big, it sounded like a big fish. And it's come out right over the solid bag. Oh, come on. Please don't be Willow Bank all over again. That right hand rod is gonna go and when it does. I'm getting out on that platform and I'm going to land my second 30 of the year. Come on. Right, so I promised the boys I'd get the food in. I've got myself a, a Donner wrap. What you got there, right Tom? Home. A champion chicken shish kebab, mate. Oh, a cow? Cheese and chips with a half pounder. Oh, and I've got, yeah, I've got, Oh, sorry, mate, go on. No, living the dream, mate. Thank you. Living the dream, absolutely. Thank you very much, it's got to be done, mate. So I've got the Donner wrap, but not only that, I've really pushed the boat out. Got myself some chips as well. You know what chips look like. Got myself some mozzarella dippers. Oh, they look mega. Look at these. <laughs> and I've also got myself, there's even more, pepperoni pizza. So yeah, I know what you're gonna say. You're still on track for next year. I am still on track for next year. I've got plenty of time. Don't worry about that. I'm gonna enjoy this. Diet starts Monday. And uh, that pizza, if I don't eat it tonight, pizza's always good cold anyway. I can have it tomorrow, so. When you start dating Aaron, he will feed you well. So. He's not wrong. Well, that was some seriously good grub. I think we're all pretty full now. And I'll tell you what, I'm gonna sleep well tonight. We did meet Ollie and uh, Ruben as well. So I just wanted to say a quick shout out to those guys. Um, it was nice of you to come over and say hi. We had a photo and that. So yeah, that was good. Happy days. And in fact, I think they had quite a good session. A couple of 20s out from Wabmill, or they had a 25 out. And uh, I think they had a couple of other backup fish that were quite nice. So fair play to you lads. Um, <clears throat> definitely doing a lot better than we are because we're struggling. Um, yeah, hard to know what to do. Fish are starting to show again like they were this time yesterday. Not as much as yesterday. Yesterday they were going crazy. But yeah, we've seen a couple of signs of fish um, right out in front of my swim as well. I've flicked about 10 boilies in over the top of my solid bag to try and draw them in and get them down. But 
yeah, it's just tough. It really is tough going. What's beta my you? That'll do, donkey. That'll do. Well, it is very dark now. You can see the lights there of my alarms. But um, we've heard a lot of crashing out towards those reeds opposite. A lot of fish moving and the middle rod just had a couple of beeps on it. Then the right hand rod had a single beep on it. So I'm wondering if the fish are moving. I'll put the head torch on so you can actually see. <laughs> There you go. Right, well, it is about 10 o'clock now on my second night, and I've just had what seemed like a convincing take on the zig. And as I was just about to pick the rod up, it stopped, and I'm starting to think maybe it was a liner. I don't know, but in the last hour or so, all three rods have had beeps on them. Could be liners, but even if it is liners, it means the fish are down in this area of the lake. So let's hope something goes off and let's hope the next clip is me with a fish. Um, if not, as always, it'll be the morning. <laughs> Good night. Got it? Got it? Yeah. 24. 24 full. This morning I was woken up to my middle rod going off. 15 and a half wraps towards the reeds on the far, on the far margin. OG fish, hardened hooker with a yellow topper. And uh, this one graced my net, so 24-4, happy days. <laughs> and here's the other side then. Like I say, 24-4. Thank you, Parker Bates, and come on the carp. <laughs> right, you are live. Right, well, here. He's gone. <laughs> <laughs> I knew that was going to happen. <laughs> Best no. release ever. <laughs> 24 pound four. Big haze. I can't, there's nothing else to say. <laughs> yes. What you guys don't know, that's actually half a foot deep there. <laughs> well done, mate. Well done. Good Cheers. lad. I like that. Sorry, mate. Can I help you? Uh, uh, no, I was just. I wondered what time are you leaving, mate? I just, you know, I've, I've, uh, I've been smashing up down the other end. I just thought I need a break, mate. So, just yeah. change of scenery. I, I've heard it's quite quiet down here. So. Yeah. Well, I wasn't going to leave till like uh, I don't know, maybe another forty-eight. Yeah. Yeah. I just want to double check when you're going. I'm not preempting it or anything like no, that. No, 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 no. Just, uh, yeah, just. Yeah. All right, mate, yeah. Is that if I bucket this one there, mate? Uh, yeah, go on, man. Oh, yeah, 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 go on. <laughs> oh, what a beautiful morning. Great way to start the day. I'm so happy that I haven't blanked. And not only did I beat the blank, it was a decent fish, a nice fish, 24-4. It's the biggest I've had from Big Haze. Um, if you guys remember, I caught my first 20 on Big Haze and it was just over 20. It was like 20 and, I think it was like 20 and a half or something, or 20 and three quarters. But to have my first proper 20 from Big Haze, it's brilliant. I'm made up with it. I'm so, so super happy. And uh, yeah, I've, I was just going to say to you, actually, I didn't film me spotting back out, but once we weighed the fish, got the photos with the fish and all that, we got the rods back out. And um, I sent out three spots over on top of where I caught the fish, because that's my spot where I've been fishing with that middle rod. One went out perfect. Two, perfect. Three, perfect. Got the fourth spot. And as I spotted out, it hit the spot where I've been spotting, my casting has been really good this session. And as it's hit the water, a fish has spooked and jumped. And it was like, it was obviously got straight on the bait. So these boys said, drop your spod rod, get your rod out there. So my spod rod's down there. I've got my rod out and I cast it about three minutes ago. I've only got that rod out at the moment. The zig rod, I'm going to change onto a solid bag and put it down my left hand margin. And then the right rod, I'll probably go solid bag again, but I'll probably go against... This, so the middle one's against the far reeds. Um, I'll probably put my right one against the far sort of trees as it bends round. But yeah, that's the plan of attack today. I'm off at one, so we've got a few hours to see if we can get another one. I'm just so happy with that one. Come on. And there it is, Rod's looking keen. All three on solid bags. 
one where I had that fish in between those reeds. Uh, that's obviously, well, they're all on solid bags. The right hand one is towards the, there's like, I don't know if you can see on the far bank there, there's like a plastic bag on the far side and like reeds there to the left. It's like sort of in between the middle of that. So there, that's on a solid bag as well. And then I've whipped one down the left hand margin, but it's not so tight to the reeds because I think if you hook a big fish down there, you're sort of playing with fire really. So I've brought it maybe two rod lengths out and it's sort of like halfway down looking good. So fingers crossed, come on the Parker baits and come on the fish. Well, I've just coming over to Chunkster's swim and you wouldn't believe what's happened. We've got the unhooking mat out. We've got the weighing tripod ready to go. About half past nine, all the commotion kicked off. And guess what? He's only gone and bagged one. And I tell you what, it compared to mine, this is an absolute beauty. This is a scaly banger. It's got scales on scales. It's a lump as well. And I think it's definitely bigger than mine. But it went off like a cat. Didn't it, Tom? How did it fight? Literally like a catfish, didn't it? It took me all over the place. I've never... I. I've never had a big, bigger carp fight like that. It felt, it fought like a, like a double figure. And we couldn't double. work out how big it was. We were all saying, oh, we think it's a 30. Then we were like, nah, it looks like it might just scrape a 20. And <laughs> you're going about 25, 26, aren't I you? I think it's 25. I think it's 27. I think it's higher, but, and it's a hell of a fish. So when we, uh, Tom's just getting his last rod back out and then we're going to weigh it up and, and deal with it. So I'll cut you in a minute, guys, with uh, Tom with a fish. Far off. Oh, it's basically 25. 24, <laughs> 24, 15. <laughs> 24, 15, guys. Well, he's done me by 11 ounces, but look at the state of this fish in a good way. It is beautiful, scales upon scales. It almost looks like a common, <laughs> but yeah, it's absolutely stunning. So here it is then, Tom with his 24 pound. What was it, Tom? 24, 15? 24, 15. Well done, mate. Absolute scales on scales. So it almost looks like a common, but absolute beautiful fish. What well on, mate, happy days. Well, I've just started packing away. I've got the barrow out because it is about four swims up there to my car. It's a bit lazy, really, but guess who I've found? He was with me the whole time. So when I thought he was made redundant, it wasn't true because he was still with me and he was sleeping right next to me because I actually found him in my bivy bag. I don't know how that happened, but <laughs> there he is. And like I said, I am starting to pack away now, guys. I've probably got about an hour left, but I just wanted to quickly touch on something. If you haven't seen, I made an announcement on Facebook and Instagram that I think I'm going to take a break. And what I mean by that is I'm not going to like completely stop fishing altogether. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to continue to make these videos, but they won't be weekly videos. So going into next year, um, you will still be getting videos, but they won't be as regular as like every week. You might get like one or two a month. Um, and that's just because I think it's too much going on for me. There's work and fishing and editing and sleeping. That's the only things I do. Um, so I want to be able to socialize more, get out more, do more hobbies. And yeah, just, I don't want to close myself off as much as I love fish and making these videos. I still think it's got to be healthy to be able to do other things, spend time with family and friends and socialize a bit more and things like that. So a few things I've got to work on as well, personal goals. So yeah, a little bit of less fishing will help me do that. Um, going into winter, I'm probably gonna, I've got, a, I've got a holiday coming up, but I'm going to Mexico. So I am probably gonna take that time to have a bit of a break. Um, there is content coming up until Christmas. In fact, I've got something special planned for Christmas, which is gonna be really good. But yeah, like I say, next year, it won't be weekly uploads. Upload, so thank you to everybody who has been subscribing, watching the videos, leaving a like, it really does mean a lot to me and it does make it all worthwhile so like when Reuben and um it's actually Owen sorry I did say Ollie earlier but his name's Owen when they came around to see us earlier and get a photo with us and say they watch the videos and stuff like that it's things like that that make me remember and realize why I do my weekly videos because people love watching the videos and I really do honestly appreciate it so thank you so much for giving up your time to watch me especially when I'm blanking and times are hard but again so nice to have finally broken the blank on this trip I can leave with a smile on my face because I've had great company i've had we've had some beers we've had some good food well good depends how you depends how you want to define good 
but we've even had a we've all had a fish each as well so i'm very happy with that um what more can you ask for tom myself and, and callum we don't get to fish much together um we have a few times on socials and stuff but like tom said this was the first night we've actually done together so it's pretty mental callum's over there waving but yeah it's we don't again we don't get much time together to fish so yeah it's really nice to have that sort of social element and, and like i say the fish is just a bonus as well but just when i thought my fish was was a nice fish that fish at tom court pff, i'm gonna give it to him that was that was an unbelievable looking fish but yeah like i say we've got about an hour to go so i will update you if anything does happen if it doesn't then it'll probably be the outro but yeah i just wanted to touch on that just to let you know you guys know what's going on and what's happening going forward that's it the barrow is all packed up and i'm heading back to the car but i had to stop off before i go and say goodbye to these ugly bunch is it as if Tom's doing that? You can do that. Flexibility like you. I've got great flexibility, mate. I never thought I'd see I'd never thought I'd see the day, honestly. Wow. What have I just witnessed? But anyway, boys, it's been a pleasure. Can I touch my toes? Hold that. You're so short, mate. Yeah, look at that. These guys are here for another 24. Wow, less than that now. About 20 hours. Yeah, about 20, 20 hours. hours. About 20 hours, so. Yeah, so, all the best. All the best, Aaron, yeah, and, well uh, done. I'll see you at Oxley's. See you at Oxley's. Oxley's, yeah. coming soon. <laughs> and there we go, that is the end of my session on Big Haze. I was super, super excited for that trip, and do you know what? I've got something to smile about. Everything happened that I wanted to happen. I caught a nice fish. Like I said, I had good company, good food, and just a general good time. It's not all about putting fish on a bank, but I even did that this session as well, so... There is a social coming up at Oxley's, which I'm super, super looking forward to. So hopefully, um, is it, well, that's going to be a good social, but hopefully we can have a couple of fish there again. But again, like I say, it's not all about catching fish. But after that session, like I say, guys, I am going to be sort of whittling the fishing down a little bit. I will be doing day trips and day sessions. I will still be uploading. But again, I'm going to have a break. And then moving forward into next year, just some of the videos won't be, well, they won't be as regular as they are now. But yeah. Like I say, thanks for watching and thank you for spending your time watching me. I'll see you in the next video. <sighs> I've done it. I've broken the blank. <laughs> Bitch bash bosh. Right then, Mr. Camo King. <laughs> Look at that smile. <laughs> it's a breeze. <laughs> it? Roller coaster, mate. So, yeah, what can I say? Well, sat here for two days. Struggling why, thinking why I can't catch them. Seeing all shine all over us. Finally have a run. And lose it at the net, um, devastating to be honest. But um, I guess it goes in. We're saying like we're fishing in pairs, isn't it? Tom keeps you up and make sure you get the bag back out there. And no matter, five minutes later, screams off. We're in. Look oh. at this fish. Wee. Look at that. Twenty-six and a half pound. Look at that thing. Mega. That is mega, mate. Well, fair play. Well happy. Fair Chucked. play. All right. So Callum, uh, the Camel King, has woken me up. <laughs> I must have been asleep for about 10 minutes, I'm not even joking. We've only just gone back to our bivvies. There we go. And he's got this lovely 20 pound, 20 and a half pound mirror. 20 pound, 8 ounce. Mate, that's lovely. Well done, mate.